Hello YouTube, this is A1984. Wasn't 1984 coming at you with another episode of Survivalness. Today we're going to learn how to make a solid state T flip flop. Before we begin, I would like to introduce a new section to this series, which is the Hall of Fame. So, uh, in here, this wonderful room that I made, we are going to welcome on our wall, on these signs, celebrities, famous people on YouTube that, uh, that, that come and play with us. And we're also going to have a wall of schnazzy people. This wall of schnazzy people is a randomly selected list of subscribers. So, the first one today, randomly selected, of course, is Ringo Retribution. Ringo Retribution is a subscriber to this channel. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, you are number one on our list of randomly selected schnazzy people. So, if you want to be a schnazzy person on the wall, please remember to subscribe, and that will, of course, obviously increase your chance because you can't be on the wall if you're not a subscriber. So, uh, just as an example to show something that a T flip flop does, uh, I use the same design to control this. See that? Okay, now, the T flip flop is not the door. Um, you'll, you'll see what it is in a minute. Um, now, an advantage or disadvantage, um, you can use it as a clock, actually, in this design, is if you stand on the input, it'll do that. I'm not doing anything, it's just an automatic clock. That's pretty cool, I like it. And then, okay. Alright, so, without further ado, let's go over here. Oh, it's night time, it is night time. So we're going to go over here um, into our secret tunnel of experimentation and see what we need to build a T flip flop. So we need two blocks, two redstone, one redstone repeater, one red or three redstone repeaters, sorry, two redstone torch, an input. We're gonna use a button for this in this instance. And we have that redstone over there just for miscellaneous usage. And we are going to be testing in there. That is the example. So let's go up here. While I'm going up here I will say, as a disclaimer, uh, uh, oh, we're stuck, we're stuck, we're stuck, we're stuck, okay, oh, no, come on, come on, okay, I'm sorry about that, so, as a disclaimer, this is the first time I've used this map, um, I did build this place from scratch, and, uh, I'll see how you guys like it. So, we're gonna go into our secret test proving ground thingamajiggy, we're gonna fall down this water. And then we're going to go into the secret room of amazingness. So I'm going to show you what a T flip flop does. See that? We're going to press the button, and then the output will remain constant. It's either on or off. So now how... I can't speak today. No matter how many times you press it, it will, it will be constant. So that's pretty cool. Um, you don't need three redstone. You only need two. This one right here is the output, and that's the trail. That's why I included this third one, but you really don't need... You really don't need that. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, step one, of course, is to make, let's see here. Okay, we're going to put it right here. We're going to put our input. So, that's our input. So, then we're going to put this right here. And then we are going to put this repeater. Then this repeater. That's going to make it a locked repeater. Not that big of a deal. It's actually, uh, it's pretty cool. It's a nice feature that they added. And uh, if you want to learn more about that, I might make a video about it later on in the uh, in the life of this channel. So then we're gonna make a repeater there, set it to two ticks, and then uh oh, and then and then place our two redstone here, and then our one redstone output, and then there you have it. You have a T flip flop solid state, super duper schnazzy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now here's something cool. Let's go into our menu right here. Get rid of this. So as I um, demonstrated earlier. If you stand on it, it actually becomes a clock, and you can adjust the clock through through these repeaters right here. So it's actually a uh, a clock. I didn't measure how many ticks it is. Um, you can you can see how fast it is. Um, so that's super duper useful if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, clocks are of course, I mean obviously clocks are useful in many ways. You can measure things with them. You can calculate things. You can you can even make a computer with with clocks so thanks for watching guys this has been a 1984 it wasn't 1984 if you liked the video please uh please well please click the like button if you liked it that's what people do and uh and comment tell me what i did right tell me what i did wrong and uh and be sure and subscribe if you want to be on the super duper schnazzy list of schnaztastic people um yeah so thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next episode of survivalness